Another day, another dollar spent on the UG. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do right now is just uh, take off all these um, cut hoses, these rusted out clamps, and all these uh, connections. They were all cut, uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take all that stuff off. All right, so everything's good to go. White harness all plugged in. All the hoses are good to go. The half shaft's in there. Uh, the brackets in there, alternators all strapped on. The uh, mounts are bolted on, pretty good. They kind of got faded in the sun, which kind of sucks. They look kind of pink, but uh, it's alright. It's whatever. You got the, the bolts? Uh, oh yeah, the bolts over there. Uh, but everything's gonna go. It's a little dirty because it was raining the other day, but uh, give it a cool wash when it's in there. But everything, literally everything, is ready to go and everything. I'm gonna run that intake right there, and these headers are here. Those two sensors right there. Yo, Sheesh. All right, so yeah, everything's gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the motor in there. I'll put it in like in a time lapse. We'll go from there. Uh, this mounts in, all tightened, and then this mounts in, and then the uh, mount in the back, uh, the bolt's in there, you can see right there, the bolt is in there, you can get the uh, impact drill, and with the, um, I forget what these are called, the extendo clips, what are these called again, the extendo clips? Extendo clips? The free foot on the gun? Extensions. <laughs> <laughs> Extendo clips. All right, y'all. Finally, finally, finally in. Uh, no more cherry pick. You're holding it up. Uh, mounts are all secured. Everything's good. Just need to plug everything on. And then give it a quick clean. You know, that coolant splattered up there. And I realized I didn't have a uh, ground cable for my last few cars. So maybe that, <laughs> that was the reason why I didn't want to turn on sometimes. So that's all good. Uh, everything looks to be pretty good. And I did. I made one of these. It looks kind of weird. Uh, but I got a bracket from the junkyard to put on there. But, uh, so I'm going to be changing that, but that's not really too much of a problem. Uh, got all the, oh, I, just, I forgot, I just need to put these hoses on. Uh, they don't have the clamps on there or anything. Well, they're right there, but they're not actually uh, clamped on. But everything should be good. It's pretty good. It just looks really dirty again. <laughs> That's as far as we're getting today for uh, the B20 project. Uh, see you guys in the next clip. Uh, I just started raining down. So Vegas weather is really bipolar right now. So we got caught in the rain, but uh, catch you guys in the next clip for now. Uh, which will be next week for me, but um, in like a few seconds for you guys. So what we're doing right now, or what I just did, I installed the uh, driver's side axle. Now I'm gonna do the passenger side axle. Uh, I just kind of hand tying everything. So I gotta go through with the uh, power drill and just tighten everything down. But I'm just gonna do this side right now. This side right here. Then all I pretty much gotta do is connect the shift linkage. And then put the fluids in here and should be solid to give it a first, first rip. Let's see what's up with it. So, got the intake on, got all the vacuum hoses on. Uh, the only thing that's, I gotta make a bracket for the uh, throttle cable because this one doesn't quite fit. Uh, but yeah, just put a fresh oil in there. Uh, I'm about to swap out the spark plugs for the uh, OEM Honda ones. Uh, then just plug in the battery and just make sure everything runs good, make sure there's no leaks. But we're about to get a first start right now to do the spark plugs and see if it turns on. All the grounds are plugged in. 
Uh, first start up might smoke a little bit just because I like oil and stuff in my hand and touch the headers and stuff like that. It's disgusting. Uh, and just like the excess oil that's on here that will just burn off. Uh, well, everybody, go for first turn on and see how what's up with it. Put a little bit of cooling in there and you top it off. Uh, but yeah, let's see what's up with it. In case it blows up, I'm gonna stand back. So that's gonna cut it for this video, uh, for today at least. But the EG is 98% done. I say 98 because I just don't need a uh, manual transmission fluid so I can't move it. Uh, and then my idle control valve. Other than that, it's solid. I changed the spark plugs out to the ones I had on the uh, B16, uh, the JDM speed ones, because the other ones didn't work. Uh, it had no spark, but those are all good, so it's good to go. Like I said, the only thing I need is the transmission fluid to in order to actually drive. And then the uh, idle control valve that just, like it turns on good, like I could just start it right up, uh, but the idle control valve does not let it idle. It idles so rough, it's just like <laughs> Like weird noises like that and stuff. So, uh, so that's all we need. Um, so next video, it should be done. Say it should, I don't know, something might happen, but fingers crossed it doesn't. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video, peace.